Hello, it's me, the self-esteem doctor, Simona Alicia, and I have a super awesome tip for you today, and I'm so excited to share it. So I follow Abraham Hicks publications, whoa, whoa, big shout out, and they talk about the, the emotional scale. So I've brought that into sessions with clients and into my academy, and I talk about the emotional ladder. So I just changed that one word because I really like the imagery of the word ladder. So here's the question that this is going to answer for you this is going to answer for you. <laughs> Am I improving? Right? So you go on this huge self-esteem journey and you're trying and you're maybe meditating, maybe you're journaling, maybe you're deep breathing, maybe you're doing affirmations, you're trying to do all of this stuff. And you're like, is this even working? Like, I'm so like, I don't, where's the progress? How long is it supposed to take? Can someone give me a timeline? And you just don't know. So I'm here to give you a nice little perspective using the Abraham Hicks uh, emotional scale with a little bit of a twist so you can understand how to gauge if you are improving or not. So here it is. When you are in these negative emotions, as we go lower and lower and lower down here, like let's say anger or discouragement, right? When you're down in this area and then you're working on yourself, you're working on yourself and you're working on yourself, you know what? You might find yourself at a place where you're feeling doubtful. Now, off the top of your head, right? That's not like, yay, I feel doubtful. What a great thing. Okay. No, you're not going to say that. But the truth is, if you take this emotional ladder or emotional scale into consideration, you realize that you are actually improving, right? The more negative emotions are on the bottom and the more positive emotions are as you climb the ladder. So if you started off really angry and now you find yourself a little bit more doubtful, then all of a sudden you're a little disappointed and overwhelmed. Maybe you're a little irritated now. Guess what? You're climbing up the emotional ladder. Okay, so you've got to take that seriously. You've got to realize that's a good thing. I'm improving. Um, hello, note to self. Do not settle here. Do not think, well, I'm climbing up the ladder, so I'm going to just stop right here at frustration and irritation. No, that's not the point. You're supposed to keep climbing the ladder, right? So the goal is, is acknowledge that you are making progress. That's the trick. Because if you go from anger to blame, to disappointment, to frustration, you're like, this isn't working. And then you slide all the way back down to anger and not even realizing that you were making some pretty good steps to the top. So when you have this ladder or emotional scale in your mind, you realize that some of these emotions, although they might be variations of negative emotions, they are actually moving you on the way up to the top. And before you know it, you might feel a little bit over it, over it, whatever. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm fine. I'm just like regular. I guess I'm just like regular. I want to be like heavy, but I'm like regular. Look where you've come from, people, from anger all the way up to contentment. Keep going. Like, just don't stop, right? And so you'll be hopeful, optimistic, positive, enthusiastic. You'll be feeling love and appreciation, which is number one, by the way, before you even know it. So stick with this journey. You have got this. And do not ignore those small steps, even if they still feel a little bit negative. Don't stop there on the ladder, hanging off like, oh, just live here in disappointment. No, keep going. And anywhere in the top five or so is where we're going to all fluctuate. You're going to feel really appreciative sometimes, sometimes hopeful, sometimes content. What's that number seven, right? It's okay to fluctuate. It's okay to kind of go up and down the ladder a bit, but we want to make sure that where we spend the most time on the ladder is in that top upper one to seven-ish area um, as much as possible, as much as reasonably possible so we can enjoy our lives. I hope that helps. And I hope as you go through life, uh, working on yourself that you can give yourself credit as you climb this ladder, even if you're not going as fast as you want, because you're probably doing a pretty great job. Okay. Again, it's me, the self-esteem doctor, Simone Alicia from tsetacademy.com. Log in anytime you want to get some more quick little tidbits. This ladder and more tips in this exact video is also going to be linked in tsetacademy.com in our resource library. And that is a free resource. So like log on and enroll in the library and get all the goody goodness. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.